Hey everybody, welcome back. Got a follow-up video. A couple of people have been uh, asking about it and waiting for it, but this is the uh, follow-up to the 560BK-1801. It's a limited edition freak uh, in the Jade Natural G10 scales. Uh, it's got the Lime G10 backspacer, black hardware, um, satin, I guess, access lock, black thumb studs, and the uh, nicely coated blade. Now, this one's been holding up really good. Uh, it's a limited edition. This is uh, 494 or 500. Went out to dealers only. I think they could only get one, um, stuff like that. So, anyways, got still kept the uh, split arrow pocket clip on there, as goofy as it is. Lanyard hole. You can look at my other videos for uh, what's going on there. Now, I've been using this one probably about two or three times a week, everyday carry, uh, since I originally picked it up. Uh, the only things I'm seeing is there's just a little tiny bit. You can see maybe right through here, right here. There's a little tiny bit of wear just on the coating. And I think this is a, uh, now I have to look it up. I thought it was a Cerakote, but it might not be a Cerakote. Same thing the uh, jets are uh, painted with. Anyways, and then back here, you got your G10 line backspacer. Um, on this side of the blade, got a few marks near the tip. So let's see if I can get those in the camera here. Hold on. Uh, it's just going to be a real slight, you can see, kind of at certain angles, just a couple little marks. And I don't even know if those might just come off here when I wipe it down. So the only other thing I've noticed is this uh, lime backspacer, the G10, taking on a little bit of oils, a little bit of dirt, so it is a little darker than when I originally got it. Um, but overall, if you look at it, I mean, it's a sweet knife. It's perfect, it's ready to go, you know. Um, and the the blade shape is just huge, you know. It's a, it's a good, good slicer even. I mean, I don't know if you can see that, but I mean, it slices really, really well. And it's ready for just, you know, your everyday tasks. So no matter what it is, I think it's still got a pretty good edge on it. I got one little nick right here. Probably can't see it. Oh, you might be able to see it right there. One little nick right there. I'll have to get that sharpened out. But it's, you know, it slides a little bit. Yeah, it's due for a sharpen. So I'll have to jump into my buddies over at uh, Benchmade and have them put a new edge on it for me. But... Anyways, it's still cutting, still doing really good, taking care of everyday tasks. Now, you may have seen some of my other videos. Now, besides that, let's take a look at uh, another knife that I built, kind of be its little brother, or maybe it's a uh, uh, mischievous son. Now, this one is a mini freak, as you can see by the size. I'll line up the butt of the handles there even. So it's a mini freak, uh, standard blade satin with a light stone wash. Uh, you can see my other video on uh, when I built this one out. Uh, took the regular, you know, rubber plastic handles off of it and put these on, which are the same type of material. It's a natural JG10, so it's got some see through qualities to it. Has this jade backspacer though, which is awesome. Um, these scales are from Rogue Blade Works. And they're really knocking it out of the park this year. You know, the uh, little hiccups getting going, but just a smoking awesome product. Now, you can see kind of some of the texturing and some of the milling that they have going. So this one fits really good, even in my hand. Um, and it's just, it's a daily user for me. Now, I put this one on a first production one, which I picked up, which is pretty awesome, pretty great. But carry those two. That's, that's the combo right there, you know. You're looking for it, that's where it's at. So I've been really happy with both of these. Uh, one of the things I would recommend is try to get one. Try to get some scales. If you like the jade, great. If not, um, if you don't need the really, really good grippiness that comes with the Freaks, I recommend these Rogue Bladeworks aftermarket scales. They make them in black, kind of your Benchmade Blue or uh, Ben Blue from We Know Who. Um, Blade HQ there. And other than that, they make a bunch of other colors too. I'm trying to remember which other ones they have. Like a white, something else. 
I don't know, carbon fiber. I ordered a set of carbon fiber. Uh, I know, so I'm going to have to go get another one. But anyways, just some awesome products. I've been really happy with the full-size Freak. This is all stock from Benchmade. What I do want to do really quick, though, is I want to get uh, just a wipe going and see if I can get a little bit of that off the blade and a little bit of that off the handle. So bear with me for just a second. We'll see if any of this cleans off real quick. The nice part about that will be is just to see how this coating holds up. You know, I did have the one little nick, but that's just from cutting stuff on a daily. And then I do want to see, let me wipe this down real quick because what I do want to see is if that backspacer, the G10 backspacer actually, um, you know, cleans up or if it, you know, held the stain. But yeah, I still got a little bit of a mark right here. Let's see if you guys can see that. Just a little tiny bit right there. Kind of come straight down. You can kind of see it right there. Um, but that's fine. You know, it's not noticeable. This stuff's drying out really good. Still got a couple of those scratches on the end right here. You can kind of see that right there. So, I mean, that's pretty good, man, for, you know, five, six months of carrying a couple times a week. That's really good. So I'm going to get this closed. And then I'm just going to check this back really quick to see if this cleans up. That should clean up pretty good. Oh yeah, that dirt's just coming right off. So just a little maintenance, but yeah, it's ready to go. Good pairing, good couple knives from Benchmade, some good aftermarket scales on this mini freak up here. Really appreciate everything you guys are doing to help out my channel. Uh, subscribing, I'm trying to give back. I got some more holiday giveaways coming. Uh, also got my uh, three, 500 and a thousand subscriber giveaways planned and uh, yeah. I just, it's been, been awesome so far. Uh, the camaraderie from everybody is just great. And hope you guys have an awesome, awesome week. Take care.